Right. Orpheus uh, once controlled the natural forces of the world, tuning the world, until technology came and broke up that unity, th threw him out. He was, Orpheus was banished by technology. There's a, there's a, in, in his, uh, in the, uh, uh, the uh, Ovidian account of Orpheus, uh, he is explicitly related to the uh, technology, the new technology of plowing and so on, which banished him. With the coming of the Neolithic man, technological man, Orpheus, the Paleolithic, Old Stone Age man, was finished. But he was a banished, rather. And, but the, the idea that, uh, that the, uh, there was a period when music had the power to not only soothe the savage breast, but to control the elements, the environment, the was, was a normal human intuition for countless eons. But Orpheus, uh, we're now talking uh, somewhat, uh, the, uh, we're talk talking more or less on the assumptions of Orpheus. And uh, Murray Schaefer is, has issued a, a manifesto to uh, call for another Orpheus to tune the world. And uh, it's a fascinating book. But in the electronic age, uh, it is no longer a, a mythic a dream. The possibility of tuning or programming the entire universe is back. It is here. We can do it. And we, uh, I mean, physically it's possible. But it doesn't mean it's practical or going to, uh, going to be done. Would it be done by one supreme artist? The, uh, well, you might ask the same thing about any studio engineer. Is there more than one engineer in the studio or not? Or not? If we're tuning the world, uh, surely the attunement means layers or levels or hierarchies of attunements, yeah, each of yeah. which in some form of concord with every other. Is there an apex to this? You'd have to get together the weatherman. And the astronomers, the astrologers, the horoscope boys, they'd all have to get together. They're all engineers. Really trying to talk about